Hey yo, welcome on back on my Overloader friends. Thank you for joining me for another video. This video we will be uh, watching the mythological speed build um, breakdown for Planet Coaster 2. Uh, we're going to take a look at it, break it down, uh, review it a little bit. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and mention the next video that I am working on. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but before we get started, I'd like, like to thank all of my uh, subscribers and everyone who's liked and engaged with comments on my videos. Thank you all so much. You all rock. I greatly do appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and get into it and let's take a look at this here. So let's go ahead, uh, it's quite interesting, let's go ahead and see here what we've got now, uh, let me mute that just in case. So I'm liking uh, the theme pieces, uh, I mean, I'm really big into the whole Greek and Roman mythology type stuff and so this here is really leaning heavily into the uh, Greek mythology as we can see here. Um, and. Um, so I'm really liking these columns here and uh, the little designs of um, uh, Poseidon's, uh, oh no, it's off, <laughs> oh, now I'm forgetting the name, uh, oh, Trident, his Trident, the end of his Trident, took me a minute there. Um, alright, so let's see here, what else do we got going on here? Medusa, I love it. I like that little green flame here that we got going on. Uh, now from, um, uh, the next tweet that I saw, um, from uh, another content creator, they were mentioning how this little return to browser button, um, they don't like seeing that, I guess, because it in order to get to the next scenery piece, you would have to click here and go. There's like four clicks that you have to do just to get to the next scenery piece. So um, I'm not certain. Like the, he, they were one of the ones that got to to play it ahead of time. So I don't know exactly myself. Well. We'll have to see when, when I finally get it. If any of you know about it, let me know in the comments down below if you had a chance to play and know. So we got some more statue pieces that they're showing off. Ooh, what do we got here? So this looks like another flat ride T. Okay, this is the T right here. We got some clouds, columns. So they added all those in. Ooh, this is going to look nice. And even an entrance gate here for those there. Now, I wish we could disable these gates and then have these, you know, and then put in our own gates for entrance. That would be great. Hopefully, we'll have that option to disable those gates. That would be lovely if we could. Okay. That way, we can get rid of those, you know, terrible looking entrance and exit gates for the flat rides and coasters. Alright, so yeah, we can do the scaling on this. I like these little statues here. I'm looking forward to building some of these. And it looks like as though you can, you know, rotate these so you can have them in different uh, po posi uh, poses and so forth. Uh, especially at least with the arms anyway and the hands. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay, so we got some columns here, some broken columns. Very nice. Liking the look of that. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be doing a uh, mythological uh, section within the park for, for one of our first parks that we'll be doing here. So I'm liking this here, this section. I like that little gold trim up there that we have, and then uh, this little gold trim here I like, and then the roofing tiles here, the marble look to it, looks really nice. Ooh, I like this statue here with the Omega, very nice, very nice, the trident. I like that how how they have this too. Like they have it so it's in separate pieces and what have you. So you can you make it as large as you need it, and you can build it up your own. And they even have ones that are fully you know made as well, from what I've seen. I love the look of those columns too. Those are looking nice. Those are looking really good. Ooh, I like that uh, statue of Athena. That's nice. That's nice. Very, very nice. I'm liking these things here. Ah, uh, I hate this. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking these here. These are looking great. Love them. Love them. Looking fabulous. I love this hole here. This whole archway here. And it looks like as though they moved this whole thing over. I can't make it out how far, but that point to this point here. <laughs> I love that. I love the fact that they've added this in so you can see where it moved from and how far it moved. That's great. I love it. Okay, so let's see. What else we got here? Got some nice looking tables here. Oh, these look like uh, little paper scrolls, you know? Um, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Let's see here. What else do we got here? The scenery brush. I'm really looking forward to that scenery brush. Uh, what do we got over here? Nothing much. We got a nice little fountain hook. Uh, flat right here. Okay. Like in this here. So yeah, here's the flat right. Yeah, so they got the gate type thing right here. So yeah, th that's what I would like is if we could remove these gates and then be able to make our own gate. That would be great. That would be great. All right, so we do have this opened up here so we can see a little bit of what we've got. Not much though, unfortunately. Okay. I do like how we can change the sizes there. That does look great. Oh, I love that statue right there like that. That looks great. That, oh, that looks amazing. Oh, look at that. Medusa. Oh, that looks great. Oh, <laughs> they're sacrificing a child too. What the heck? That is so messed up. Okay, Frontier, whoever did this, whichever dev did this is, is, is pretty messed up. They're, they're a little sick in the head, I think. I, I, I think they might need a little bit of help. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is just... Okay. Some sick twist of humor, I guess. Um, and, oh, and it's articulate I missed that the first time around I like that the head oh that is so cool that is so cool and these guys here alrighty well that is that on that uh, so yeah the uh, the next video though that we will be uh, doing or that I'll be doing that you all will be watching is going to be a bit of a reaction view I got a comment on one of my posts that uh, about the the first person view being announced and that I should do a video on that 
So I decided to look a little bit into it. And there's a little bit that I can uh, talk about on it. And I can even bring us into Planet Zoo and show you how it works a little bit there as well. Because we do kind of have that feature there uh, with a uh, first person point of view uh, while exploring. So, uh, and I think it's going to be like the same type of concept with that. So, uh, we'll break that video down. We'll take a look at that and so forth. Uh, and that should be out, uh, probably within the next two to three days. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you all, uh, for joining me. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, uh, and, uh, make sure the bell icon is lit and, uh, fully, uh, lit up and set to always. So you're notified whenever I release a new video on Planet Coaster 2. Uh, and uh, thank you all again for all the engagements. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. You guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you all next time in reality.